welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing one of the beers in the Freedom Brewery beer pack that they sent over to me in last week's video. Um, if you didn't catch that video, I'll uh, link it up above. Um, but yeah, this is one of the beers that was in that pack and this is the Helles Lager. And the reason for that is because I used to live in Germany. In fact, I lived in Munich for a year and you can't live in Germany without just loving and appreciating uh, how much the Germans care about their beer. So much so that they have a law that protects it from any funky business. Um, beer has to be pure and has to be made from the same ingredients every time. Um, so yeah, you just don't live in a country like that really without uh, coming away from it and appreciating just good quality beer, especially when it's ubiquitous in the country. Everyone loves it, everyone appreciates it, and it comes in at such a cheap and decent price. So I thought I'd save that beer for today's review and I've got it here in front of me. I haven't tried it yet, so this is gonna be the first time I try it. You're gonna see my review as it happens. And yeah, let's just dig in. Now, first things first, uh, if you've ever been to Germany and tried their Helles, uh, which is you know their lager, if you've ever been there and tried that, uh, this will instantly give you, it's just given me massive, massive throwback to, to live in there and just being in a bar and that first time just ordering a beer and it's, it's so simple. Ordering a beer nowadays can be a little bit more complicated as you've got so much choice, which is a really, really good thing. Like the styles of beers and the amount of different beers you have to choose from is great. But honestly, living in Germany, you would just walk to the bar, you would order one of two, maybe three at a push things. You would order a Helles uh, if you wanted a lager, you'd order a Weiss beer if you wanted a wheat beer. Uh, and if you were feeling brave, you would order a Stark beer, which is a, a, you know, a dark, strong beer. And every bar would have certain breweries that they were affiliated with or that they, they enjoyed the most. Um, and that would be, you would just get the hell of sub choice based on which bar you were in um, normally. And, and yeah, it just took all of, the, all of the thinking out of it, all of the hard work. It's just literally, just give me a beer. And you knew that the beer you were gonna get was of decent and premium quality. Um, so it didn't matter, you didn't have to worry about it, you didn't have to think about it. So that has just given me a massive throwback to that first time in Germany, going into a bar, just, hey, can I have a Hellas please? And just, yeah, getting that and just being like, wow, where has this sort of lager been uh, all my life uh, as a guy coming from the UK drinking some not so great lagers from some pretty popular brands. Um, so yeah, that is, give me that immediate throwback. So throwback for me and sentimental value aside, it's a great lager. If you are, if you're in the market for a lager, normally you're looking for something that's crisp, you're looking for something that's fresh, uh, and normally a bit of a thirst quencher, it's, you know, it's you want something that you don't have to think about too much, something that's not too much effort, uh, and you want it to be consistent. And I think that's uh, what Freedom Brewer have done with all of their beers. I've had the British Lager out of the pack, and I've had the Pale as well. And to be honest, their beers are, they're not brewed, and you know, they'll be the first to admit this, with the super crafty uh, one-off niche brews in mind. Um, they're not super hazy, they're not um, anything like that. Like They're not aiming for that fanboy super craft beer experience. But what they are providing is a genuine craft beer experience. So they are a small craft brewery themselves and they are independently owned. Um, but they're also aiming for that uh, consistency that you get for some of the bigger brand names um, because yeah, that, they just wanna be able to en masse give you a beer that every single time you're gonna enjoy it. And I feel like when I was drinking the, the British Lager and the Pale and then the, with this too, like they're beers that you could just, you know, buy a mortar pack off, stick in the fridge, um, have for a sesh and without thinking about it too much, but just know that it's just a little bit better quality than some of the um, the larger chains that you get out there that 
I don't know, in recent times have tend to just drifted away. Like quality hasn't been so important. It's all been more about mass. Um, whereas these guys are still sticking to the quality, but um, giving it you in, in a consistent fashion. Um, and I think this has gone down exactly the same route as that. So the bottle itself says that it's pale, floral, crisp and balanced. I would I would totally agree with that. That's, that's exactly um, that's exactly the sort of vibe that I was getting from this. Uh, and it's exactly the sort of thing that you want um, from a lager. And for me, the British one, you know, the malting was a little bit different. It's a little bit heavier. And this is a little bit lighter. Even the color itself is quite straw-like and quite light. Um, so you, you're getting that light sort of vibe from it. Yeah, it's, it's fizzy, it's decently carbonated. It's just got all the elements that you want for a refreshing lager. Now, on a hot summer's day, this would go down an absolute treat. On a hot summer's day, this would go down an absolute treat. Uh, the vibe on this would be pretty spot on. Uh, this is something that I could just see myself having sort of in the fridge on a regular basis. Um, if you don't want to think about it, if you don't want to worry about all of the, you know, the different styles and, you know, you just fancy something clean, crisp, simple, um, yeah, this, this is an easy go-to and, you know, I'm glad that the team sent this out to me because a lot of the beers that I drink uh, nowadays tend to be uh, a little bit more of the craft style type, uh, normally out of cans, a little bit hazy, more tropical flavours, um, DDHs, pales, that sort of thing, and the odd sour in there. So if you've ever seen those posts on my Instagram channel, which I'll link down below, uh, you'll notice that those are the sort of beers that I've been drinking recently. Um, which would normally tear you away from this sort of stuff because the general vibe, social media wise, you know, everyone's heavy down that route. It's the can, it's all about the can, the can art, and you know, the, the haziest, juiciest tropical beer that you can find. Um, which is why I'm glad the team sent this over to me. And I think there is definitely a space in the market for things like this. I mean, if you look at what Brewdog are doing, they're also tapping into that same market. They started out with, you know, your standard beers, but with a twist. That just elevated them and just made them just made them appear different and then they've just massed that up on scale uh, this is also you know of a similar elk it's you know producing good quality beers that you know attract the masses but still ensuring that the quality is there and i appreciate that i think that's i think that's something it's good and it's nice to see and yeah i've got no complaints about this whatsoever so that's been it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it uh, again it's something a little bit different not the normal uh, crafty styles I've been after, but I thought it'd be worth um, coming back after the last week's unboxing just to check one of these out. Um, if you didn't see last week's unboxing again, please go check that out. I'll link it down below next to my Instagram channel underneath that like button. There was a few hints in this video. If you caught them in the background in some of the B-roll, uh, there are videos coming on that very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna go finish this beer. Cheers.